Hello ladies and gentlemen, in this Linux tutorial video I'll be showing you how to use the sed command or stream editor command. Sed has quite a few uses, but the focus on this video will be the find and replace functionality within files, but you can also use sed within bash variables and arrays. So I have a handy demo file here and I've got a couple of uses for this. I want to show a bit of config editing and just a bit of general editing, so I've got a couple of nursery rhyme titles here. At its basic usage, the command is sed, and then I put this in quotes, but you don't actually have to, s forward slash the regular expression or normal expression you're looking for, forward slash replacement, forward slash, and a quote, then the file you're editing. Let's start with a nice simple demonstration and convert number three to a binary number. Hey, we've all got to speak in binary these days, haven't we? We're Linux users, got to speak in binary. Yes, uh, so Goldilocks and the 011 bears and 011 little pigs and the three little houses. Oh, that only made one replacement on each line. Yeah, that is the default functionality as said, it is going to make one replacement. And at this point, I have not specified to edit the file. So if I go back and look at the original file, we can see it is untouched. You can specify a particular instance the expression you would like to change. So as I said, by default, it is the first expression that is going to change. But we could say the second one to change. Here we have the three little pigs and the 011 little houses. And as you see the line above, that only had one instance of three, so it has not changed. But if I want to replace everything, then I put G to specify a global replacement. And there we have a complete change. Now let's look at outputting the file. We've got a couple of options. You can either do an inline replacement or output to a new file. If you want to output to a new file, then that's just a standard in bash. So the right arrow or greater than sign, then new.txt. Looking at new.txt, we can see it has the change. But if I wanted to change the file in line, then I can do using dash i. So sed dash i, then the expression and replacement and the file I'm changing. It doesn't give you an output this time, but if I go back and look at the file, we can see it is now changed. So it has been edited in line. So exploring the usage of said a bit further, we can edit config files. So for this example, I'm changing the variable fancy from off to on. But what if I want to change the variable on location? Well, I can't just use forward slashes because that's what I've been separating the expression here with. So no, that's not an option. Well, actually it still is an option, but you do have to escape the forward slashes. But this is very messy, although it's worked. However, this is a valid use of said as well. I can just use any other character. As long as it's put in the same format, said doesn't really care. So now I no longer have to escape the forward slashes as you can see. So that is a much neater version of the command. Now the final usage of said I will cover is a replacement of a particular character. So say I want to replace the equal sign at this particular point. Now the equal sign in this instance is the sixth character in the line. But this is where we're going to have to build a regular expression. So this time I'm going to have to tell said that I'm using extended regular expression. That's to be able to use brackets without having to escape them which I need to in this case. So said, the beginning of the string, so that is the caret character. Then I've put a group together and I'm looking for any character five times. And then for the sixth character, I'm looking for the equal sign. So that is this point here. So that covers the string I'm looking for. And now it's replacement. Backslash one leaves everything in situ. Or does it replace it as it is? So I can't remember the exact terminology there, but anyway, it doesn't adjust the start of the string. And then the next character is a comma, so that is what I'm replacing the equals with. Sounds very complicated, but let's look at the results. Here we go. The equals sign for those two lines is now a comma, but the equals sign later on with location, as it's later on in the string, has not been changed because it does not match this regular expression. The equals character I'm looking for at the sixth position is only those two lines. So now let's look at some of the basics of the sed command. I expect this is going to need another video covering sed because there's quite a lot more you can do with the command. But well, thanks for watching. 
see you all later.